Rocky Mountain and Rigby have combined to win the last four 5A Idaho State Football Championships, with it going Rocky, Rigby, Rocky, and then Rigby last year. I'm sports reporter Steve Dent, and these two teams met in the semifinals, and the game most certainly lived up to the hype. Rocky Mountain would march right down the field on their first possession, but a fumble on this bang-bang play gave the ball to Rigby, who would strike first in this matchup. The Luke Flowers to Brady Packer connection proved to be a tough one to stop. This long completion would lead to a short touchdown run. But Rocky Mountain would respond with the run game as they got future Idaho Vandal Art Williams going. This run would set up a touchdown pass. It's knotted up at seven. Now it's the Grizzlies turn to force a fumble as Ty Page comes up with the recovery. The offense would respond. Tegan Sweeney passed for 277 yards and two touchdowns. This completion would lead to a one yard touchdown run by Williams. He had 130 yards and two scores, but Rigby would respond right before half with a touchdown of their own. I had to go to the Meridian Mountain View game, and when I got back, the Grizzlies led by seven in the third quarter. We can't hear you! But this pass would lead to a touchdown, tying the game at 27 apiece with just over nine minutes left in the fourth. <laughs> this was an intense game. Big hit here, but Cohen Peck holds on, and Rigby would take the lead on a touchdown grab by Brady Packer. He had seven catches for 152 yards and two touchdowns. <laughs> now Rocky's driving, looking for a game-tying touchdown, and check out this effort by Luke Lucini. What a catch, and Rocky's in business in the red zone. But the third fumble of the day gives the ball back to Rigby. The Trojans would face a third down, and instead of running it, they would try to win it through the air, and this catch by Packer secures a hard-fought victory, 34-27 in a game where it was a shame somebody had to lose. Proud of them. I mean, they worked hard. I mean, they've got good players. That's a good team, and, you know, uh, nothing to be ashamed of. So just... Uh, you know, somebody who's going to lose that game is going to be upset. And I, you know, I thought we battled, we played hard. We, you know, I don't know if there's anything we could have done to undo it, if that makes sense. You know, it's just a matter of making some plays during the game, like any any game. Rigby will face Meridian in the 5A state championship, as the Warriors were impressive in a 34-10 victory over Mountain View. <laughs> Meridian improves to 11-0 on the season. Their game went quick. The Warriors had the ball for 35 of the 48 minutes, chewing up 316 yards on the ground with their dynamic wing tee running attack, and they didn't punt once. The Warriors will go for their first state championship since 2007 on the blue next week against Rigby. In the 4A, Bishop Kelly remains undefeated. They beat Minico 33-15. They will take on Skyline in the 4A state championship in Pocatello and Holt Arena. The dates and times for the 5A and 4A have not been announced. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.